Well, okay, here we are. This is a cobra, a monocle cobra. Woo! Whoa. I'm Jack Randall. Oh, bam! See that? That was crazy cool. I'm finding every animal on the planet. Whoa. I'm in the wild. I think it's down here. Oh, Up close and personal. And a massive snake! Okay, there's a scorpion on my arm. This is just remarkable. Look at that. Reticulated python in the water. Come on, let's go. There are animals that are always evolving, adapting to different changes in the environment. And there's certain species that are doing quite well alongside people with the changes that we're making, either the crops or because of our houses being built. And there's one particular snake that I'm after that does quite well in this general environment. That's a monocled cobra. I've never found a wild cobra before, so if I find one, I'm pretty sure it's gonna rear up and show me how big he actually is and how venomous he is. In Thailand, the monocled cobra is one of the most deadly snakes out there. Right, this area I'm in right now is actually not rainforest. This has been developed. There's actually palm oil plantations around. These snakes are active during the mornings. Even in the heat of the day, they'll be basking. So I'm keeping an eye out for any bits of movement I can find. Ah, snake! Ah, yes! Yeah. This is not a monocle cobra. Whoa, it's getting coiled up here. He's got his mouth open. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, wow. Ah, it's a bronze back snake, not venomous. Pretending he's much bigger than he actually is. Love it. Whoa, they get a bit bigger than this, but look at the way they flare up. He spreads his, his scales out and shows those white coloration in between. A little very feisty snake. Let's release him over in the trees. Look at that. Anyway, let's keep going. Right, this forest here is perfect for cobras. Generalist snakes, they eat anything, mammals, frogs, anything they can come across. Snake! Well, okay, here we are. This is a cobra, a monocle cobra. Woo! Okay, wait. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Really alert snake. If I got bitten by this snake, I may stop breathing quite quickly. It actually kills more people than any other snake in Thailand. And it does cause a lot of fatalities elsewhere in Asia. So unlike a lot of the animals that live in Southeast Asia, this one is not under threat from extinction at all. It's actually really well adapted for being around people. Whoa! You see that? Wow, that's what it does. It sees a threat like me and then it hoods out. That's amazing, it didn't even open its mouth. He wasn't gonna bite, he was just saying, don't get anywhere near me. It's got that pronounced hooding out, which it does to show how big and scary it actually is to a potential predator. Okay, it's starting to calm down now. You have to keep your wits about you. It's really lovely to get this close to a cobra. Look at that, just sensing its environment, flicking its tongue out. Spent a lot of time with Australian lapids, which don't have that interesting markings, but the cobras really do. Monocle cobra, it's got that eye, that characteristic eye on the back of its neck. When it hoods out, it displays that beautifully. This isn't the only cobra I'm trying to find out here. The king cobra and also the spitting cobra. I can't wait to see them. It's been really interesting to see how the cobras really do behave. Seeing this generalist out here in a human environment, there's human development around me, but I'm gonna have to go right into the deep jungles to find the king cobra and the spitter. Monocle cobra, yes. 